it's not always that we see two world record holders in the same race. However, at this particular half marathon race, we saw the former marathon world record holder versus the former 10k world record holder. This great south run slash great north run series is known for being one of the greatest around the world. In this particular video, we're going to be watching two Kenyans battle it out as here we can see Greg Rutherford and Mo Farah starting the race. This particular race featured thousands of runners with a couple hundred being the elite entrance. This race also is relatively flat so this would favour most of the elite runners. Here we have fast forward to 7 minutes into the race and we can see the likes of Bet of Kenya, we also can see Wilson Kipsang, Kogo, Keegan and also Gerashun. This is something that I was wondering is why is Wilson Kipsang, who was the marathon world record holder, hanging back so much? It was really confusing because he was one of the favourite to win this race. Another big name was Murga of Ethiopia. Murga had actually beaten Mo Farah in his career and he was a really big threat to Mo Farah during the track races. This is not the track though, this is a half marathon on the road. 5 miles in and you can see Wilson Kipsang, the marathon world record holder, moving up to the right hand shoulder of Kogo, the former 10k world record holder. Keegan in the lead here, really pushing on, I mean he's grimacing, he's gritting his teeth like crazy. So in this race we have 4 Kenyans and 1 Ethiopian, the Ethiopian being Murga at the back. He is running very very strong, however he did look to be struggling and as you can see here we fast forward to the 10k marker, he has in fact been dropped. That was the 10k mark just there, they went through in around 28.01, that is insane, most people cannot run a 5k in 28 minutes, let alone double the distance. Now, Murga managed to rejoin with the lead pack and Keegan was starting to look really really uncomfortable. It looked to me like he simply couldn't keep up with the race and instead was just trying to hold on for dear life at this point. Keegan had done a lot of the leading, however unfortunately now he had basically hit the wall and was in a great deal of pain. Here are the trailing behind chase group runners Collis Birmingham of Australia and also Chris Thompson of Team GB. They have just gone through the 7 mile mark and are roughly around half a minute to one minute behind the leaders. I don't think either of these guys are going to catch the leaders. So this is the moment where the real race begins, Kogo versus Wilson Kipsang. This of course is the marathon world record holder versus the 10k world record holder at that time. Kogo ran a crazy fast 10k road race which bagged him the world record. Wilson Kipsang also achieved a time at 2.03 at the Berlin Marathon the following year after this race, which achieved him the fastest ever time by a human back then. Obviously since then the record has been dropped even more by basically 2.5 minutes. 37 minutes into this race and we can see Wilson Kipsang running on the other side of the road, choosing not to directly run behind Kogo, probably because he is seriously struggling. On top of this, it's a bit of a sportsmanship is that they don't run behind each other because that technically does actually aid your performance. It might seem a bit stupid, but if there's a lot of wind, running side by side makes it an even match as then you are both running into the same amount of wind. Judging by Kogo's shorts and how they're blowing and everyone wearing umbrellas on their heads that are being flown around, it does look to be at least 30 mph per hour winds. Right now we're going to focus on the finish without any more jump cuts or editing. Kogo is digging real deep and he's actually grimacing almost as bad as Keegan was halfway through the race. Wilson Kipsang however is looking calm and collected. He has the marathon endurance, however Kogo has the speed for a 10k. So my money's on Kogo if it comes down to a sprint finish. Unless Wilson Kipsang can somehow pull away or overtake now, he doesn't really stand a chance. That's the thing though. Kogo isn't able to break him and they don't have long left at all, only around 1km remaining in this race 
but Musa Kiptang is still holding on to him firmly and refusing to let him go. The crowd at this particular year's run was a lot smaller because it was awful weather. It was so wet, so rainy and so windy that even the people who had families racing just decided to stay in the car <laughs> or stay at the hotel. Here is Murga, I believe he's in third place. He is the Ethiopian champion and has beaten Mo Farah before in track races. Kogo here trying to swerve all over the road. This zigzagging tactic is used to try and drop runners behind you However, again, it's not seeming to work. Wilson Kipsang isn't right by him. He is around about one and a half meter to two meter behind. However, he could close that gap potentially over the next half a mile. There is only 800 meters remaining in this race and Kogo obviously has the better sprint finish, but he does look to be seriously struggling. This looks more like it's going to be a long drawn out finish than a sprint finish, judging by the way that Kogo is just surging every few seconds. Wilson Kipsang is also holding on by the skin of his teeth and seems to be seriously struggling to close the gap every time Kogo does put a surge in. Having said that though, the most relaxed runner here of course is Wilson Kipsang, the then marathon world record holder. 400 meters remaining according to that sign there, the official has signaled that these two are the first and second place runners out of all the tens of thousands runners in this race. Kogo is pushing on but it's not working, it's one lap remaining of an athletics track, 400 meters and they just look absolutely exhausted. I think we are really not getting the full story here, it's probably so windy we just can't hear it or feel it because we're not there in the moment. It doesn't look like they can even muster up a sprint finish in this situation because of how windy and difficult the terrain is. Kogo has increased the pace slightly, with Wilson Kipsang responding, but it doesn't seem like he can get a move in. A gap of around 6 meters has now formed and Kogo is pulling away. Wilson Kipsang has now unleashed another kick and is actually beginning to close the gap. I cannot believe this. He is actually going to overtake Kogo. This is turning out to be one of the closest sprint finishes ever. This is going to be photo finish. Kogo just gives up last minute. Everything he gave, he didn't quite have it. 59.06 unofficial. That's a very fast time for a windy course like this crazy i was not expecting that to be such a close sprint finish that was absolutely amazing kogo did a great job there of trying to drop wilson kipsang but wilson kipsang being the marathon record holder back then was of course the one with more endurance and more stamina kogo tried to use his speed but towards the end he didn't have any left he was too tired he was absolutely exhausted and basically gave up once wilson kipsang overtook him here is the third place runner Murga of Ethiopia coming through just under one hour for the half marathon, also a very very fast time, he will be happy with the third place and also getting a large amount of prize money for doing so. If you're new to my channel please subscribe as I cover races almost every day including running news and drama, also leave a like for good luck in your training. These were the results here for the men's and women's races. I didn't cover the women's race, but Tyrannish de Barber beat Edna Kiplagat. For those of you who know about runners, that's pretty crazy. Joe Pavey also down there, big mention to her. I used to follow her career very closely and also used to message her on Facebook for advice on nutrition and things. And she was so sweet, kind and actually respond to me, unlike quite a lot of the other runners. So guys, thank you for watching today's video. This has been The Runner. I will react to more videos in the future and also give you the Valencia Half Marathon this weekend with Salomon Borrega and Yomif Kajelcha going for a world record. So make sure you hit that sub button, click that notification bell, drop a like and I'll see you guys then.